All right, we finally found a taxi. Very excited because Kushikatsu place. We're almost to Ueshima. Since we were in Osaka, we decided to try Osaka soul food, Kushikatsu, which is fried skewers. And we were introduced to one of the best restaurants out here. It was recommended by one of my friends in Tokyo. He's you know, from Osaka. I think really excited. So cool hidden Japanese restaurants like Ueshima could be a bit intimidating for tourists or even some locals, but no worries. After seeing this video, you'll know exactly what to expect. Stop you, Stop you, There's no menu, and all you need to say is stop. He's gonna ask you what you can't eat. Tell him and just sit back and enjoy the ride. So there's this vintage looking fryer behind the counter. Fresh made kushikatsu will be placed on your plate on the counter. When you eat, just take skewers and leave the plate so the master can keep on using it for the next skewers. To start off, we were served a soft and fluffy garfish. Damn, look at this golden coating. <laughs> it's very, very soft, tender. It just melts in your mouth. Next, beef katsu, which instantly became my favorite. He recommended to eat it with a mustard and Japanese Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to town with it. Yum! Crispy outside and super juicy inside. <laughs> <laughs> this is uni and squid with soy sauce in between. That's crazy. I've never had it before. Uni has a very like cool, refreshing taste because it's cold, but the squid is warm on the bottom, so it kind of like melts together and makes this like really interesting taste inside of your mouth. And the soy sauce kind of like brings it all together. Oh. Wow, amazing! Right when you break the crispy coating, all the creamy cheese stuff melts inside your mouth. It has mentaiko in it. Cool. The bengkok, which is like a Japanese potato. Then we got to the lotus root with seasoned cod roe. Lightly salted cod roe flavors exploded in my mouth and paired perfectly with a crisp lotus root. All about texture. Usually people come here and they eat about 15 kushikatsu sticks, I guess you would call it. The max here is 50, so if you guys, if any of you can ever hit 50, let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below. This is ground pepper and hamon, which is a fish that I'm not familiar with. Hamo is a Japanese conger eel. It's mushy, but a good mushy, and you can taste a slight crispy texture. So good! And this juicy hamaguri with a soup full of umami. Look at that huge clam! The fried crispy clam is poured over with umami soup, creating a distinct flavor. So juicy! That clam was pretty good, but let's go taste, taste the soup. Umami! The soup <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> now, we got the king of kushikatsu, shrimp. It is like so crunchy, you can eat the head, no problem. Oh, fried mushroom with soy sauce jelly. So good and so Japanese. Mushroom. <laughs> we were also served super fresh crab, and it was super sweet.
So it has like this orange sauce. Oh, that's really nice. It's mushrooms. And then this is the meat, which is really good. Wow. That's amazing. Holy shit. For our last dish, we got thickened soup with fried asparagus on the top. Unfortunately, I couldn't eat any more. Until next time. Soup. Soup, so good. If you have any questions or comments about this restaurant, or if you want to tell me what you guys like most in this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. I want to actually know. And like always, if you want to see more adventures in Osaka and in Tokyo, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you again soon.